united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSCE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, United with Christ. Good morning, viewers, and welcome to your program, United with Christ. My name is Eugene Eme, and I am an author and the founder of Eugene Eme Ministries. Um, today is another beautiful and wonderful day, and I'm so excited to be your host this morning. Um, I'm very thankful to the Lord and the KSEE staff members for the privilege and the opportunity to come into your homes to bring the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, sit tight and be blessed as you listen to what I have for you from the Holy Spirit this morning. Okay, um, our first reading today, I'm going to be taking it from um, the book of Ephesians 6.12. If you have your Bible, open to Ephesians 6.12 and it reads, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the, this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Wow. At this point, I would like to invite you to call in with your questions, your testimonies. And you know, KSCE is a nonprofit organization and uh, it's maintained by viewers like you, calling in with your donations. And today I have this um, amazing book here, The Spiritual Philistines. How to be married to a hidden by Eugene M. I wrote this book, and if you call in with your donations of like twenty-five dollars, uh, we will be sending you one of these. Okay, all right. Thank you, and um, just hang in, and uh, the Lord is going to tremendously bless you today. Okay, let's say a word of prayer, and then I'll go right into what I have for you today. Oh Lord, our, our Father, we have gathered in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to. Ascribe every praise and worship to you for everything we shall be doing here today. Let your healing and deliverance flow into your people's lives through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. Once again, I am so excited to be hosting this program today. And uh, uh, it is a wonderful day, like I already said. The title of this uh, teaching today is The Spiritual Strongholds Against marriages. How many of you know that our marriages are under incessant attacks from the kingdom of darkness? Yes, and uh, I just want to follow up with um, uh, another Bible reading in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, where the Lord said, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and mighty things, unsearchable things that you do not know. Why this uh, verse here is relevant to what we are doing is because today we will be gleaning from those unsearchable things from the Holy Spirit as he has revealed it to me, you know, through my walk with the Lord. Okay. As I was trying to prepare for this program, um, asking the Lord, what do you have for your people? Um, the Lord took me to somewhere and uh, I, I didn't know why I was even going there in the first place. While I packed, I saw two couples, you know, they, uh, they are, it looks like they are divorced couples. And uh, the man brought out his daughter and uh, the, the lady took the daughter into his car. And this, this, two, this man and this woman didn't exchange greetings. And I, the Holy Spirit began to show me that these couples here used to be very much in love with themselves, but now they are no longer together, they are divorced. And even just to even have uh, exchange pleasantries, they couldn't. You know, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on, not just in the world, but even in our churches? How come the divorce rate in the churches are even higher than the secular world? What is going on? Well, as you ponder and ask all those questions, um, I'm going to teach you and let you open your eyes to what is really going on. The spiritual forces that are fighting our marriages, breaking down our families. Um, right now, let me read um, another verse that is going to help you uh, be a springboard into what we are talking about today. Genesis 2.4. 
in there, a man leaves his father and mother and is united with his wife, and they shall become one flesh. But you all know that the, the enemy has been tearing down this one flesh right from the beginning. That is, that is his, uh, his aim, to tear down that one flesh which the Lord instituted the marriage union, the marriage institution to be. And how is he succeeding in his enterprise against the marriage institution? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to take you, refer you back to the Ephesians 6.12 where we read, you know, that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in highest places. Yes, that is what is going on even in our marriage. So today I will expose to you that evil spirit, that spiritual stronghold. Yes, there is a particular spiritual stronghold that it's, uh, 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 it's um, uh, enterprise, its peculiarity is to fight the marriage institution. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, an author, I'm an author and I've written extensively on what I am teaching you right now. You know, like I said, call in and uh, make a donation and we'll be sending you this book and I'm sure it's going to bless you. Okay? Um, Uh, before I go on, I just want to assure you that, you know, the Lord is going to bring healing. If you're watching today and you're going through any difficulty in your marriage, the Lord is going to bring healing into your marriage. That is my belief. That is my appointment today to set you free and to bring healing and joy back into your marriage. But you just have to bear with me and hear what I am going to teach you and be open mind, you know, to, uh, to learn, you know. So... Let's say through to the title of this teaching, which is the spiritual strongholds against our marriages. And for your information, I shall be delivering it in series. So if I don't finish today, don't be disappointed because it's going to continue again next week. I have a whole lot of things, you know, that is going to come into this series, okay, as I continue with the programming the coming week and subsequently. So as you all know, mar marriage is the bedrock of our families. And that's why the enemy is fighting it. You, I don't need to start going uh, except, uh, deeper into what is going on in our world today. So, but we all know, as I said before, that our marriages are under incessant attacks from the kingdom of darkness. So that is why the Holy Spirit now, uh, actually, I went through a, you know, a turbulence in my marriage that allowed the Holy Spirit to teach me through what I went through. So, and he began to teach me about the particular um, stronghold that I am going to be exposing to you today. And the name of that stronghold is the marine spirit. I know many of you might be wondering, marine spirit? Yes, the marine spirit or water, water spirit. So it, this, you know we have different realms in the, in the kingdom of darkness. Like here we are in El Paso, there are desert spirits everywhere in here. There are, the marine spirit uh, is everywhere because, you know, 77% of the, of the earth is made up of water. We have water surrounding us everywhere. So, and uh, let me tell you something that is going to shock you. It's not a coincidence that we, as a society, we, we, we have idolized, idolized mermaids. You know, we have them in the stores make them into toys for children to play with. They make movies with them. And people do not even understand that these things are real. Those are just a figment of something spiritual, something deeper, that if people can really open their eyes and see, I'm not telling you not to patronize Hollywood or buy toys for your children, but I'm encouraging you to know today that those mermaids that you're buying for your little girls, they are, that those things are figments of something that is really true in the spiritual realm. So, um, like I said, the Holy Spirit exposed this um, evil spirit to me. And how does it function? It functions against uh, humans through what is called spiritual wife or spiritual husbands. And what do they do? They have tremendous things they do in order to arrive at their aim, which is just to bring destructions into families. They have sexual relations with humans. Okay, let me refer to you to 
Genesis 6-4. If you go, if you read Genesis 6-4, you will see uh, there was an example in the Bible where there were fallen angels that came and had sexual relations with daughters of men. These marine spirits are in that same way having sexual relations with, with uh, husbands and wives, depending on whoever their victims are. So they can come in, form of, in the form of a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife. They also have spiritual children, but I'm going to be talking about that later, you know, next time. Today I'm focusing on our marriages. So if you can borrow a, you know, a, an example from Genesis 6-4, that is how the spirits operate even right this minute. As I'm talking to you, somebody is on, under attack by the marine spirit. So, um, uh, I'm not intending to shock you in any way, you know, shape or form, but I just want to open your eyes and to let you understand how these things operate. So, and like I said, depending on who their victim is, if it's the wife or the husband, their end, res their end result or their main aim is just to shatter the marriage and then sometimes they have very strong ties with whoever their victims are and they just want to have that victim to themselves like as in real marriage mimicking real marriage situation and uh, where they can if it is send, uh, making your husband to leave you or making your wife to leave you where they can have you to themselves and just you know be enjoying you however and whatever they want to do so i know this area that i am revealing is, um, is uh, pretty much uh, um, strange in the body of Christ. But, uh, you know, thank God that the Lord has allowed me to, to open my eyes to see these things and to share with you. You know, the, the Lord said that his children perish for lack of understanding. Today, you're not going to be perishing for lack of understanding. You're not going to um, r start rushing to divorce courts because you, you, you feel your, you felt your husband or your wife is the problem in your marriage. No, far from that, there are spiritual strongholds that are making, that are manifesting into the problems you guys are having in your marriage. And that was what I experienced. And thank God I experienced it, and I, but I didn't cave in. I didn't, I, I didn't, I did not, um, I didn't, I didn't throw in the towel because that was what the enemy wanted me to do through those marine spirits. So, the question I'm going to be uh, answering again is how do they come into people's lives? First of all, like I said, the earth is made up of 71% water. We know the water vapor also. We have water everywhere. So these spirits, uh, you know, are dated back right from the fall of man. When man fell, when Adam fell, different things were happening. And, you know, before the Lord revealed himself to Abraham, Satan already started, you know, establishing himself. That's why they had pagan religion and all those kind of things. You know, it was uh, the Lord revealing himself to Abraham that brought in the worshiping of Jehovah God, one, you know, our Lord, Jehovah God of Israel, one God. So prior to him revealing himself, Satan already established himself, you know, here. So and in that way, there were different idols. Our ancestors, you know, people, the ancient time, they had idols. They worshipped different idols. And I'm going to be giving you some examples, you know, uh, um, like, uh, you know, it, there are some of the ones in the Bible, you know, that you can read for yourself. Idols that represent this marine spirit. For example, there is Asherah. If you read Exodus 34, you'll find the idol named Asherah. That is a, a, a ramification of the marine spirit. Another one is Astorate and Baal. If you read Judge, you know, Judge 2, you will see it there. Another one is Tammuz, Ezekiel 8. You know, though these are, I'm just giving you names of different ramifications of this same marine spirit. Because, you know, idols, even though people worshipped idols, uh, something like this could become an idol for someone. But beneath this tangible thing here, there are spiritual entities that are manifesting through this but people will not know that uh, because they call this an idol and it's just a little something here you know that that's it no those things are deep, deeply rooted in the kingdom of darkness so uh, another example is um um artemis if you read even in the new testament acts 19 you will 
you read about the uh, his name is Artemis. That's an idol that were worshipped in those days. So, but how many of you know that when th this idol worshipping was taking place, covenants were being established? Because, you know, the Lord, remember our God is a God of covenants. And you know, Satan goes around poverty and everything our, our Heavenly Father does. So, he also understands that covenants are forever. You know, for example, the Abrahamic covenant has trickled to us down as, you know, the believers, born again Christians through Christ. We are enjoying it. So, the same way, can you imagine far back as Abraham and that covenant is still affecting us today? In that same way, covenants that we are entered through different involvements, you know, by our ancestors, by the ancient people, those covenants, we are everlasting. They remained. And you, you, you know what? Satan is still capitalizing on them. You know, he is the, he's a liar. Our Lord Jesus Christ called him a liar and the father of all lies. So if he can just catch you on a ways, if you don't know your right, he knows you don't know what is going on. He's going to use it. So not knowing anything does not, uh, you know, doesn't exempt you in the spiritual realm. If you, what you do not know in the spirit as, you know, as partakes to the spiritual realm is actually going to kill you. There is no innocence in there. So Satan knows how to particularize on all these ancient things that have happened going down. And you know, these coven covenants continue. If they are not broken, they are forever. So the Holy Spirit made me to understand that through these covenants and another thing called liens, Satan operates through them to affect even believers, even born again believers. Actually, when I went through what I went through in my marriage, I was a believer. I was a spirit. I was a spirit filled believer. But I guess the Holy Spirit wanted me to, you know, go through it so that I can teach the body of Christ and open their eyes to see we are not making use of what we are. We we are not making use of what we have. That is why even in the in the churches, the, the divorce rate is like higher than any other, even more than the secular world. So like I said, the covenants, the liens are the things that function against, against us that the enemy is that the enemy uses to launch this marine spirits into our lives. Another thing you need to know, there are signs that you can look out for. If you notice the signs in your marriage, there is a, a, un, a, 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 unavoidably, you are having, you are being attacked by the marine spirits. Number one sign that you should look out for, are you always having sexual relations in your dream? If you do, that's a sign number one. Sign number two, do you experience uncontrollable, uncontrollably, uncontrollable, sorry, <laughs> uncontrollable sexual urge? Those are signs. Are you or your spouse adulterous? Those are signs. Are you experience diminished attraction towards your spouse? Those are signs. Have you been married several times and still can't seem to find peace? Those are signs. Do you get unnecessarily angry to your spouse over menial issues? Those are signs. There are many other signs, but like I said, for time constraints, you know, I'm not going to be going into details, you know, about all those. So, but I, I know you're waiting for the solution. The solution, the only solution uh, uh, is found in Colossians 2. 13 to 15, you can read it for yourself, where Christ has already taken care of everything that concerns us. So now we have to make use of the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ to pull down these strongholds against our marriages. First of all, we'll use the chain-breaking power in the blood of Jesus Christ to break those covenants and break those links because that is the two, those are two areas that these marriage spirits come in to exercise their authority over our marriages. If we can start doing those uh, will bring healing into our homes. So right now, as you're watching, if you're going through any problem or any difficulty in your marriage, are you on the brink of divorce? Are you blaming your spouse for whatever you're going through? Quit blaming your spouse and listen good. Right now, I'm going to exercise the authority I have in the name of Jesus Christ that I have in the blood of Jesus Christ and the appointment I have here today to break every lien through which the enemy has been using to hunt you, to break every covenant. I use the covenant breaking power in the blood of Jesus Christ Luke 22 verse 20, our Lord Jesus Christ said that this is the cup of the new covenant. The blood of Jesus Christ is the cup of the new covenant for you as a believer. So I use it right this minute to break every covenant that the enemy is using against you. Be free in your marriage. Be free from that marriage spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. I have many more things to teach you about this subject. So I encourage you to tune in next week. I have more. I am fully loaded on this area. The Lord has called me to, you know, to 
see these things, you know, as they happen. And the real, he shows it to me in the dreams. Actually, the marine spirit I was telling you about earlier, the Lord, the Holy Spirit allowed me to see it in its real form, how it looks. And it has the form of the mermaid, the, uh, you know, the mermaids that your children play with and they show us in movies. That is how it looks. So I'm not trying to scare you, but that is reality. If we can start facing our realities as children of God and tackle them with the weapons that our Lord has given us, which other weapons do we have? If not the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that has erased our sins and made us blameless. That is what we have. We have the, re the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we cannot stay defeated. I encourage you, my brother and my sister, whatever you're going through in your marriage, the Lord wants you delivered. The Lord, Lord wants you, wants it broken so that his church, uh, you know, our families can begin to get restored. You know, family is the bedrock of, uh, marriage is the bedrock of families. So, and when the marriage is not working fine, how is the families going to work fine? Where's the, when the marriage families are not working uh, well, how is the church going to work well? So the Lord has called me to start. Let's start. Charity begins at home. Let's start by mending our marriages, bringing people back together, husbands and wives together, so they can take care of their children that the Lord has blessed them. And so in, the, uh, uh, as in turn, the church will come together so that we can usher in the greatest revival the world has ever seen. We have to provoke the world around, around us so that it can happen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, I encourage you, like I said, call in with your prayer requests, call in with your donations, call in with any testimony, any question that you have. I'll be coming in next week and I'll tackle those questions for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, um, like, I, like I already told you, you know, uh, uh, 30 minutes is not enough to cover everything I have. Therefore, you need to get this book. You can get it calling KSE. My website is showing on the TV, on the screen. You can contact me there. I have a page where I have somebody that helps me out. But whatever question you post on those uh, on that website, I'm going to be answering it directly. So what, bring it in. I'm not intimidated by your questions. Call in. Send me an email. I have my number there. You can also give me a call, a personal call, okay? And I'll give you some answers that will help you and uh, elevate you a little more, you know, from whatever you're going through, okay? In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, 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 there are many other parts that I wanted to touch here, but um, uh, uh, let me still touch them a little. You know, this marine spirit also is the one that is uh, working against our, our singles. Some of them are, uh, some of them are, uh, single because the marine spirits have hijacked them. They cannot seem to get satisfied with whoever they see. They date and after dating, it crumbles. They don't go, they don't take it a step further. So the marine spirit is also behind that. Our singles, I don't, uh, even though I'm talking about marriage right here, our singles, uh, you know, prospective uh, couples need to also know that this marine spirit comes after them as well. That is why they stay, some of them, they prefer being singles for life. You know, they prefer even, some of them prefer having an animal, a pet, to having a wife or a husband. So that is the marine spirit functioning right there. So even right this minute, as I am talking to you, I bind every retaliatory spirit that will come against me, against KSCE uh, television, just for this message that is going out here today. I bind you and I cast you into the hellfire where the Lord has prepared for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The children of God must know the truth and the truth must set them free. We will refuse to, we refuse to perish for lack of knowledge and understanding. The Lord has revealed the knowledge, the, the marriage spirit, the kingdom of darkness has been exposed. As it's been exposed, are you going to take advantage of the exposure that the Lord has allowed you to see? Or are you going to say, oh, I've given my life to Christ. Everything else is history. No, the Lord wants, to, wants us to know that, yes, uh, we have given our life to our Lord Jesus Christ, but there are still some things that we have to appropriate for ourselves. Just like you fall sick sometimes. The blood of Jesus Christ has already has your healing in it, but you still fall sick. If, guess what? If you don't take advantage of the healing in the blood of Jesus Christ, you're going to die from whatever is bothering you, from the disease that the enemy has brought at you. That is the same way with this, uh, uh, with what I'm teaching you today. The Lord uh, wants you to know that 
Yes, you've given your life to Christ Jesus, but as these things are being revealed, if you're not taking advantage of them, the, these spirits, these strongholds will crumble your marriage and they will wear you out that you will cave in. I know that is why some, I, I give credit to some couples that even try to go counseling and do other things just to help themselves. But guess what? Most majority of the times, after even after going for counseling, they're still caving because these marine spirits, they are very ferocious. They don't, they don't give up. Just like you guys know, Satan does not give up. So how would they give up? Once they have any permission against you, any opening against you, be it through um, the idolatry that I just mentioned, we, are, we all had ancestors that worshipped idols. So this is not a matter of I am exempt. Except if you have renounced them, if you know you're right in Christ and you have renounced them and they know that you have renounced them, you don't have any business with them anymore, they leave you alone. So that's, uh, uh, this, these strongholds are the ones that have continued to bother us in every area of our lives. But today, as I've tackled the, the one about marriages, I'm going to be, as the series continue, I'm going to be talking about many other things that the body of Christ needs to know. And thank God we have a solution to it in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So today, even though I've, uh, I'm almost rounding up, I encourage you, some of these things I've exposed is left for you to take, uh, you know, take advantage of it by yourself and do the renouncing by yourself. You know whatever kind of thing you have been entangled with. Some, uh, sometimes it might not even just be that the idols, uh, the covenants are there. It could also be that we, we, you have opened your door. Some of you have opened your door through inf infidelity, through pornography, through different things. And in fact, these marine spirits, they are the ones that are responsible for anything sexual. Anything sexual, they are the ones, even like you've seen um, different things going on against the marriage, the gay community and all that. This marriage spirit is the one behind it. So we need to expose it for people that want to be healed, to be healed. But if you want to remain in blind, uh, you, you want to remain blind, well, thank God, this message I'm giving out to you today is going to stand against you. Okay, in judgment, because the Lord will say, okay, didn't I send my messenger to give you, to tell you the truth? I have released the truth and let the truth set you free in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you guys for tuning in today. And um, uh, like I said, call in. KSCE is a nonprofit organization. Call in with your donations. We appreciate when you call in and like he said, give and it will be given back to you. Press down, shaking together and running over. So call in as you call in with your donations. I pray the blessings of the Lord over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our risen Savior. Remain blessed until I come into your focus, until I come onto your screen next minute. Okay? <laughs> next week. Thank you for watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSCE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours, or you can visit us on our website at www.kse.com. God bless you.